Tale of Two Cities, Two Companies, Part Two. This is Sherry Traxler with Vireo Life, author of Go Forward 28 Days to Eat, Move, and Enjoy Life God's Way. We are talking about employee health and wellness this month because May is Employee Health and Wellness Month. And we often think of that in corporations, in big corporations. But you know, not everybody works at a big corporation. There's a ton of people who work in small companies who are solopreneurs or maybe just them and a, a business partner. And how do we fit health and wellness into that setting? In the last video, I talked about four ways to do that, and it's going to be the same four principles, but just implemented differently whenever you're a small business or a solopreneur. Let's go into it. When you're a small business or a solopreneur, the, the stress is a different type because, you know, in a company, as an individual employee, if you have a sick day, ah, you know, it's covered. You're home resting and you're still getting paid. If it's a small business or a solopreneur, that doesn't happen. You don't really get paid vacations <laughs> in that sense. You don't get paid sick days in that sense. So that changes and the level of responsibility changes and that weighs on you more as a solopreneur or as a small business owner or an employee of a small business. There's, you know, you don't have as much responsibility diffusion that goes on. So it's really important to manage your health and wellness as a small business, as a solopreneur. One of the ways to do that is make it fun and make it easy. You may be working from home part of the time. You may be having uh, less of a commute, but on the other hand, you also may travel a lot. Find some ways to make it fun and easy for you to stay fit. You know, one of the benefits of being a solopreneur or being in small business, you do have some more flexibility. So maybe the way that you have fun with your exercise is there's a nearby park that, you know, if you worked in a corporation, you couldn't say, oh, I'm going to go take an hour and a half at two in the afternoon and go, you know, enjoy this park and get out and get my exercise then. No, you, you pretty much have to be there when your boss says you have to be there. But as a small business owner, you've got more flexibility if you're able to do that Find some different ways to fit in fitness that you can take advantage of because you've got a different type of stress. Take advantage of the benefits for your health and wellness whenever you have that flexibility. So make it fun, make it easy. Second is also to incentivize what you're doing. Now, incentivizing for you sometimes comes really I won't say easy, but it's a little easier to see. A friend of mine was making some health and wellness changes. And what he told me after he made those changes was, this is the first time in seven years of being in business that I've not had to worry about making the bottom line and, and providing for my family because he was healthier and he was having habits in his life that gave him more energy and made him more productive. So it's very easy to measure whenever you're a solopreneur or small business of, if I do this, I have this much energy, I'm this productive, and I make this much money. If you're a salesperson, even in a large corporation, you're able to measure that a little bit easier. So that's some of your own incentive that you can put in. Competition, now, in a large corporation, if you can have competition between departments, you can have competition between different companies, you and you know a neighboring company. But what about competition if you're just you and three other people in the office or just you? Well, if it's you and three other people, you can do some competition. Uh, you can certainly get friends around in different solopreneur environments to do some competition. Had a client who, she came up with this. This was not me. She came up with this. It was a little challenge in a January setting, and she called it Happy New Rear. Not my words, her words. Happy New Rear. And I thought, that's a really fun competition. So she had me come in and talk to them and, and kick that off and uh, help her design it. So you can get creative and create some competition even when you're a solopreneur or a small business. And of course, education and coaching. Uh, just like with a corporation, you want to have education and coaching available. As a solopreneur, as a small business, you want that as well. And same thing, lunch and learns. There are so many resources on the web 
that you can have playing in a break room, assuming you're large enough that you've got a break room, to teach people about health and wellness. Let me know what you do for employee health and wellness. And if you are the only employee, what do you do for your health and wellness? Put that in the comments. Let's get some dialogue about this. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time, find your path and fulfill your potential.